So, we all understand how powerful this unit is, right class? And that this unit is great in this meta, and that this card also uh, is doing a lot of good things uh, for the team, yes? So, with that being said, this card comes out during the part one of the Worldwide Down Celebration of this year, of course, being on both versions. And the leader skill is All Out Struggle, Super Saiyans, or Power Versus 3 Key and 1, 70% across the board, and near 30% of the stats is 2, Movie Heroes, or Connected Hope. They also get 30% attack for one turn, as well as lowering attack and defense on their 12 key, that being the Raging Waltz. And their 18 key, they get 50% attack and defense for three turns, as well as giving super class allies 30% attack and defense for one turn. And of course, the name of their, their 18 key super attack is the Triple Key Wave. Now, granted, the bad thing about their super attack effects is the fact that they aren't getting defense on their 12 key, but I feel like what they're doing in their passive is making up for it. And of course, the great thing about their super attack effects is the fact that they do have an attack debuff in their 12 key, and they're gaining an attack and defensive buff multiple returns and also being able to support the entire rotation for that one turn man i'm talking too fast one second guys <laughs> okay so for the passive they get three key and 200 percent attack and defense uh just at the start of turn and they also randomly change key spheres to physical key spheres so they change uh, to uh physical key spheres and they also get two key per physical key sphere obtained nice and they also get one key per key sphere obtained of course physical excluded so they can get up to three key per key sphere obtained right can't i'm pretty sure no that's separate not separate unless you're getting rainbow orbs right okay let's just continue okay and they give all allies three key and 50 percent attack which is obviously great and they also get 30% damage reduction temporarily when receiving a super attack, which is obviously cool. And they also get 30% defense for uh, receiving an attack for every three key. And they get an additional 150% attack when the key is 12 or more. So they're rewarded for getting key, which is obviously nice. And they launch two additional attacks that both have a 50% chance come a super attack when key is 18 or more. I love that. And they're effective against all types when key is at 24. And if there is a another movie heroes or all out struggle category ally attack in the same turn, which is should be easy to get considering the fact that they lead all out struggle, not movie heroes, but all out struggle, they uh, get additional 15% damage reduction. And for two turns, they give all allies 77% defense. My brother, uh, let's just let's talk about this for a second. So they are supporting in a couple ways, right? So they give uh, just an unrestricted support buff of three key and 50% attack to the entire rotation, as well as after them supering for super class allies, they give an additional 30% attack and defense for one turn. And then they give, of course, for two turns, all allies 77% defense. So 77% defense here for all allies, as well as three key and 50% attack for all allies again, as well as 30% attack and defense. Quick math. Um, I, man. I think, okay, so combined from the passive, that would be three key and 50% attack and 77% defense. And if they super, that would be three key. That'd be three key, uh, 80% attack and 107% defense. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's the correct math. I think that's a lot of support. Yeah, after they super, and granted they're in the right condition, they're giving up to three key, 80% defense, and what's that? No, not 80% not defense. That's three key, 80% attack, and 107% uh, defense. That's banana. That's crazy support. What? <laughs> that is so crazy. So on the support, like on the utility base, and like for the support is great. They also change their own key spheres for them to, to be able to get two keeper keys to obtain for the type key sphere well two two keeper type keys were obtained as well as getting an additional one key for keys are obtained for any other type of key sphere um they also get damage reduction when they're taking a super attack they get defense for every three key spheres obtained they also get rewarded for getting key that being effective against all types additional attack as well as two additional super attack chances i mean come on i, I <laughs> This, this card is great. Creating their own orbs to support them being rewarded for getting key. They also have great support. And, man, I, <laughs> I, like, what? I, I don't even know what else to say. This card is great. It's just outright great. Okay. And they're standby. Uh, they stand by for three turns. Of course, the charge counting. Uh, when they get 
two per physical keys to obtain and one per non-physical keys to obtain and it can be activated when hp is 77 percent or less starting from the fifth turn for start of battle and your link set is super saiyan golden warrior saiyan warrior race z fighters prepare for battle fierce battle and legendary power is it time for the z fighters category is it time for that I'd probably say it's time for that it's probably time for a z fighters category dokkan and their categories are joint forces Movie Heroes, Super Saiyans, Kamehameha, All Out Struggle, Connected Hope, Entrusted Will, Earth Red Fighters, and Power of Wishes. Now, moving on over to the standby. After we got through talking about this crazy uh, support heavy uh, orb changing key for key sphere obtained for both their type key sphere and non type key sphere, damage reduction from two separate ways that being from them taking a super attack as well as uh, them uh, just having a ally attack in the same turn. I mean, it's them, they're just great. They're great. They're pre-transmission, not pre-transmission, pre-standby. They're pre-standby. I'm way too used to saying pre-transmission. Their pre-standby is great. So, uh, they're standby. So, we get to Goku. Okay, okay. so of course they don't have a super attack for cops because they're in their standby. They're unable to attack except when the finished attack is activated and they get three key and 259% attack and defense and they guard all attacks. They change in key spheres. Well, just him, but yeah. He, he changes in key spheres to physical, nice, and he gets two key per physical keys for obtained, and he gets one key per non-physical keys for obtained, so basically from like the pre-standby, and he also gets 30% defense when receiving an attack for every three key, and if key is 24 when receiving an attack, he gets 59% damage reduction, very, very powerful, 59% damage reduction with guard is just crazy, as well as getting defense for every three keys for obtained, that's just crazy, bro. And he also gets an additional 20% defense per key sphere obtained. And all allies get 7% defense for two turns per physical key sphere obtained. So defense per key sphere obtained as well as giving all allies defense for two turns. Just like what? And he also gets an additional 100% attack when finish attack is, or finish effect, is activated. So, I mean, still creating key spheres. Still getting key per type key sphere and non-type key sphere obtained. Um, what's that defense for every three key as well as him getting 59% damage reduction in guard so defensively he's going to be just just immovable he's just just crazy so crazy this card is just great the greatness personified I agree. <laughs> of course uh, the finished attack one uh, raises attack by 50% per per uh, what's that charge count and cause ultimate damage to enemy this is for when uh, the charge count is 40% or less or 40 or less, not 40%. I'm too used to seeing percentage right next to the numbers for Dokkan. But anyways, um, for the other finish attack, you can activate it when you're when you're at 41 or more. And of course, 20% attack per charge count, and of course, you do super ultimate damage to the enemy. So, uh, what is um good about this card? I mean, we go back on over to the pre-standby. We pretty much already said everything. Um, outside of their 12 key not being all the craziest, uh, I I would say, I mean, well, they're lowering attack. So they do have an attack debuff as well as a you know, multi-turn attack and defensive buff as well as supporting. So they have good super attack effects, I would say, across the board outside of them not getting defense on their 12 key. Um, change orbs, two key per type keys for obtain as well as one key per non-key type keys for obtain. Um, great support from both their super attack effect on their 18 key to their passive uh, right over here and passive right over here with 77% defense right there and 3 key and 50% attack right over here. 30% um, damage reduction right here, 15% damage reduction right over here. So on the defensive end, they're going to be looking very, very good. And they get rewarded for them just getting key. Like they get defense attack when they're, well, of course, 12 more key as well as additional super attack chance. That being two attacks that both have an additional super attack to of course happen uh so yeah they launched two additional attacks will have a 50 percent chance from a super attack and keys 18 or more i mean come on that's card's piece for itself <laughs> this card is just great you get to the standby guard 59 percent damage reduction st still orb changing uh and uh, defense per keys you're obtained giving all allies defense getting attack from uh, of course for the finish effect this card is great you hit the boss with this attack and they're pretty much they explode they, uh, literally they literally explode so Man, I talk way too fast. Let's take a look at their 200% leader skills uh, that they're on. So they're on six 200% leader skills. They are a dynamo right next to this guy. You would absolutely want to always keep running next to this guy because they're getting three key 65% attack, 5% defense, and of course debuff the enemy's defense by 10%. Great card. Great card with a great linking partner. Absolutely. 
so that's about it um as I, I, there's very minimal bad things about this card this card is just greatness just, just greatness personified but yeah i appreciate you guys watching you guys are the best uh and i'll catch you guys next time i love you all peace